So this is kind of a follow-up to my advanced HTML report. Here, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic HTML reports. And what I mean by that is you can change the look of your HTML based off of rules you set on the content that you're analyzing. So I'll show you exactly what I, what I mean here. This is my little mini report. And I have file names on the left. On the right side, I have the size of those files in megabytes. And I have these color-coded borders based off of the size of those files. And this is dynamically generated based off of the size. So you'll see here that this is one report. Let me go ahead and introduce a new file into the report. I'll run my code again. We'll go back to the report, hit refresh, and you'll see that it has added a file to this report and it has uh, color coding that tells me the range of its size. So let's go to the PowerShell code and see how we can make that happen. You'll notice that it's not really a whole lot of code. It's not at all. It's 40 lines of code and uh, most of it is, is empty space. So what are we doing here? Well, first we're grabbing all of the files in that folder and then we're pipelining it to the select object, which is like that. And we're selecting the name of it. And we're also creating a calculated property or a calculated field so that we can convert its length into something a little bit more readable like megabytes. So we're converting the length here into megabytes and then we're sorting it by name. Then we're looping through those files so that we can analyze the size and then create a, a custom CSS styled HTML elements to add into our table body. And then the table body gets thrown into our HTML body and then it gets thrown into our entire HTML here. We have uh, CSS styling for the entire page. Those stylings in the custom HTML bits are specific to those HTML uh, items or to the, the, the row items. And then we're outputting it to an HTML file. So you can see that it's not a whole lot. Let's take a little deeper look at, at where the action happens. So we're sorting through, we're, we're looping through those files and basically we want to analyze its size in megabytes. And then that's where we want to make our change in the HTML or the CSS styling. So I'm putting the size in megabytes into this variable and I'm recasting it as an integer because this is a string value and we cannot analyze these expressions here off of the string. So we're turning it into an integer and then we can do this, uh, this evaluation down here. So I'm checking to see that it is above zero. I don't want to analyze any files that are under a megabyte. So that's my first check here. And you'll see that you did not notice less than one in the report because it is less than a megabyte and we didn't want to look at it. So now that we've met that first condition, here is where the real magic happens. We have a bunch of if and else if statements. If the size in megabytes is greater than 100, then I want you to add to this variable called table body the name of it and the size in megabytes with this custom CSS styling that is specific to this item. So border style will be solid, border color will be red. If it's greater than 50, then I want you to do the same thing, but make it orange. Over here, you can see orange. If it's greater than 10, make it yellow. If it's greater than five, make it light green. And if it is greater or else, anything else, just leave it blank. If it's, if it's under five, I don't want any border around it. Leave it blank. 
so that's it. We're just doing simple, simple evaluations based off of this megabyte attribute or property that we calculated. And, and that's that. There's really not a whole lot to it. it. It may seem scary because there's a lot of HTML in here, but all we're doing is adding a row of HTML to this variable once for every file that we're looping through. So when we look at table body, you'll see that it is the combined code for all of the files. We have the name here, the MP3 file, the other dot test with their specific color that we've assigned to it. So then we take that variable with all the table data and we stick it inside of our HTML body and we have table formatting here. So I have the table um, assignments. I have the, the header names here, file name and megabytes. And then I put the table code inside of this body code. Now this came from my advanced HTML report. This is the header with the CSS styling that will be applied to the whole page. But any code that is inside of an HTL element, any styling inside of an HTL element will override the code in the header. So that's why I'm assigning it in here so that no matter what I have in the header CSS styling, it will be overridden. So we have the head, we have the body, and then we're just combining those two using convert to HTML. So convert to HTML, we give it the body, we give it the head, we assign it to our HTML variable. And if we look at it, that is the, the total web page right there, or the total HTML page. It's already formatted for us because of convert to HTML. It's got the head, it's got the styling, it's got the tables, it's all there. Complete HTML page. And then we just take that HTML and we out it to a .html file. And when we do that, we have our custom HTML page formatted with CSS and it will look based off of the rules that we, we assigned up here in this for each loop. So if I if I can't create a whole bunch of copies of these files like so, I run it again. Come back up here. You'll see that it, it just creates you know the the um, the copies of those files. So we have the copy. Was that already there? I don't know if I just did what I wanted to do. I'm not really sure. What did I just do? All right, but you get the point. You, you get the point here that PowerShell is really cool, very flexible. You can create reports that look differently based on the content. You don't just have to uh, rely on having the content. You can make it more readable and uh, more easy on the eyes to see what's going wrong. Um, you know, should this be red? Should this be uh, green? Should it be blue? Make it fancy, make it pretty. And that's it. Just wanted to show you the update. I'm gonna post this on GitHub. You can grab the code, download it, play with it yourself. Thanks for watching.